this video is going to show you how to do the final assembly. So we're going to take our sub-assemblies and our slides and put them all together. So we're going to do a standard IAM. And instead of bringing in individual parts, we're going to bring in the sub-assemblies. So we're going to place the platform sub-assembly first. So you click and OK. Um, once you have your sub-assembly, if you click on it, you can go to free rotate and you can rotate it around if it's not in the position you want it to be in. So we'll move it around like this to here. So you can see it better is all we're doing here. Alright, so that's good enough there. Right click and done. And then we're going to bring in our uh, climbing wall sub-assembly. We only need one of those, so we'll click that and right click and OK. And what we're going to do is we've got to attach it to the platform. So first thing I'm going to do is constrain it and I'm going to mate this part right here on the tri-platform to the back of the climbing wall. So we're going to have to rotate around to see the back of that. and doesn't matter where you click it, it's just where you click it, that's where it's going to be. So on the back of the climbing wall, I'm going to apply that. And I'm going to rotate that around again. And what you're going to do now is we want to get this edge flush with this top piece here. So we're going to go to flush, and I'm going to find that piece at the top of the tri-platform and apply it. Now at this point, you can move this if you want. Um, but what we're going to do, instead of moving that, we're going to flush the other sides here. So I'm going to flip around, and I'm going to make the climbing wall side even with this one. So I'm going to constrain that and go to flush, and I want the edge with the edge here, and apply. Now, at this point, these all these pieces are together, and I would suggest at this point that you... At this point, I'd probably suggest you'd save this. So when we go into iPro, we'll go to save. We're going to save this as final assembly. And I would suggest that you save every time you put another section onto it. So right now, I've attached the climbing wall to the main platform. Um, next, we're going to attach the sub-assembly for the monkey bars, and then we'll uh, attach the slides and so on. But save it after every time you, you get one thing. Okay, so now what we're going to do is we're going to rotate this around so that we can get the monkey bar sub-assembly in. And we'll go one more time around here. So we want to have this back section so we can see that. Okay, we are going to place the monkey bar sub-assembly in. We only need one. Okay, and the side with all the rungs on it is going to go get attached to the main platform. So in order to do that, we're going to mate and flush the, to the um, main platform. So first thing is go to constrain, and we're going to mate this section. And we have to rotate this around so that we can see the back side of this. And we're going to apply that. Now you notice it's not straight, so we have to flush this. So we want to flush the top of that with the top of the monkey bar set. So we're going to apply that. And at this point, we can move this, and it will be it's attached, but it's not centered. So what we're going to do then is I'm going to rotate this around again. And I'm going to flush this side to this one, but I'm going to offset it. So if you constrain, you go to flush, we're going to flush the edge of the platform with the outside edge of the monkey bar. And when we offset in this offset box, we're going to type in 18. Oh, sorry, let's do a negative 18. And when you apply that and we rotate it around, you'll see that the monkey bars are now centered opposite the climbing wall. At this point again you'd want to save it. So we just go into save and 
say OK, and it's automatically saved. OK, now we're going to bring in the tunnel slide. So we're going to place the tunnel slide. And we only need one right now. And we're going to put it on the side opposite the tri-platform. And so to do this again, we're going to mate this to the main platform. So when I constrain it, I'm going to take and mate the surface of that, the outside edge, to the outside edge of the main platform. We're going to apply that. And just like we did before with the flush, we're going to have an offset to center this. So I'm going to click the outside of the slide, the outside of the main platform, and then our offset. Oh, this one's going to be 18. So the negative and the positive is just going to depend on where you're at. Okay, so we've got that applied. And the last thing we want to do is rotate to the bottom of the tunnel slide, and we're going to mate the um, bottom edge of the tunnel slide, so that edge to the bottom of the uh, main platform. Now that way that's all together and that won't move. So now our slide's on there and it's centered, monkey bars are centered, climbing wall is flush. And again at this point you want to save